All right, so let's get going here. So multiplayer, uh, sorry, single player. <laughs> uh, first go single player, then you go to the tutorial. Uh, here are the uh, five different tutorials. Uh, by the time you get to the end, like you'll pre pretty much you'll pretty much know everything. Uh, when you when you uh, do the last mission with the scientific, I think at that point you're playing the regular game against a regular AI uh, at the moderate difficulty level. Um, you know, of course, eventually you can go go and play single player games at a higher uh, difficulty level. But uh, there's quite a few people who've had difficulty um, beating the the last the last tutorial. Uh, but that's that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, you should uh, the last one should be a challenge. Uh, you know, the first ones are, are not too hard. So we'll start with uh, upgraded tutorial. Uh, let me, hold on, just give me, give me one second. Okay. Looks like everything is fine. Um, um, upgrade tutorial. Okay, here we go. All right. Headquarters founded. Excellent work founding your headquarters. Now it's time to get down to business. Be sure to build a metal mine on some iron and aluminum and create a steel mill so that you can upgrade your headquarters. We want to make sure we have power, water, food, and oxygen for our headquarters to survive and thrive. Construct buildings to help gather or generate these resources. You will pass this test when you've upgraded your headquarters four times. So the main goal here is there's actually no AI in this scenario, it's just you. It's not like the normal game where you have to use the stock market to, to buy out your opposition. In this, in this scenario here, you just need to upgrade your headquarters to the maximum, which is level five. You start at level one. Um, so that's all you really have to worry about. Medium levels of so here's my headquarters. Um, and you see the, the fog of war sort of slowly being, being revealed. Um, and I see I have a bunch of resources around me. Now the the core of the game is the uh, the claims, uh, which are which are up here. So you see, I have eight claims. So with each claim, I can basically control. Well, I can claim uh, one of these. You see that there's a, there's a hexagon map here. You know that covers the. Uh, the covers of the map. Um, you see each, each resource is in the middle of one of the hexes. Um, so right now I have eight claims so I can claim eight of plots of land. Um, and uh, the way you do that is uh, let's say I see I might want this. I've got some high iron here. Well that's great. Um, and uh, so I might go down to iron. All right so how do I get some iron? I go over okay metal mine. I need to construct a metal mine. So I click on construct metal mine and then I click on the high iron tile. So you see a metal mine pops out of my headquarters, goes to the tile, and you see it's building. Once it gets to 20, it'll be done. You can also see it building up here. And you see I used to have eight claims, now I have seven because I, um, uh, I started building, you know, I, I claimed this tile right here. Um, okay, so now you remember I said that the, the point of the um, uh, this scenario is to, uh, let me check to make sure the sound's okay. All right, so no one is uh, no one seems to be complaining, so it sounds good. Um, so let's say you want to upgrade your colony. So you go over here to the upgrade button. Um, you see, I need um, 40 aluminum, 20 steel, and 10 glass to upgrade. And right now, I have all of those resources. You see, I have 40 steel, I have 40 glass, and I have 40 aluminum. So I have enough to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade. Each new citizen, all right. Our domination grows. Great. So now uh, I go over upgrade, and you see now I have. Um, I have the glass, but I don't have the, either the aluminum or the steel. Okay, so great. Now I now I know I need to get those things. So first, let's go to steel. All right, here's steel. Um, produced by steel mill. Steel mill consumes iron to produce steel. Okay, great. Well, I have a source of iron. See, I've got the iron here. I'm generating 2.4 iron per second. So you can see the you know iron slowly build up. And since the my iron is right next to my headquarters, that iron is going directly from the it's going directly from the iron right into my stockpile. So you see every second you'll see this you know trick tick up by like two and a half basically. So I got plenty of iron. So what I'm gonna do is I need a steel mill. So I go to the steel, move my mouse over here, construct a steel mill. Consumes one iron to produce half uh, 0.5 steel. So I click on that. Now. When you're building these secondary buildings that convert a resource of one type into another, basically you can put them anywhere. The best thing to do is to put them somewhere adjacent to your headquarters. Um, so I'm going to put it over here because I'm not going to be covering up an, another resource I might need later. I'm just going to drop it right there. 
Um, so it's building too. So, you know, in 20 seconds, that'll be done. So now what was the other thing I needed to upgrade? I also needed aluminum. Okay, so what's aluminum? All right, so I look through here. There's aluminum. All right, so um, I need a produce by a tile with aluminum deposits and a metal mine. All right, so I'll go over here, find a metal mine. Um, so uh, click on the metal mine. And you see these lines here? It's basically showing me uh, where are, it's suggesting some locations for me to build. Now, metal mines produce both, both iron and aluminum. So you see this little red line pointed at this iron here. And I'm gonna zoom out. See, there's also pointed at this red, this iron here. And there's also, there's, there's another good iron over here. So it's sort of showing me some good locations. The blue lines are showing me aluminum. So it's showing me some a high aluminum over here. See, the high aluminum produces 2.4. A low aluminum only produces 1.2. So, you know, high is twice as good as low. So there's some high here, there's some high here. However, if you're building away from your headquarters, you're gonna have to, it's gonna have to ship those uh, goods to your headquarters using blimps. So basically, if I wanted this high aluminum, I would put a metal, metal mine here, and by the time it filled up, it, you know, every, basically every 20 units, a little uh, 20 units of aluminum, a little blop, blimp would pop out and travel to my headquarters and that's fine it's just that that consumes fuel so um what i think i think since this this medium aluminum is so close to my headquarters i'm going to go ahead and get that so it's not going to produce aluminum quite as fast but i'm not going to be spending as much fuel to get there plus if i claim this tile here so if you want to you can also claim tiles without putting buildings down if i claim this tile here uh between the aluminum the metal mine and my headquarters um now it's connected. All buildings that are part of a contiguous, uh, you know, cont contiguous set of uh, claimed claimed tiles, they're all essentially like connected with each other. So you know, the iron that comes out of this metal mine just sort of immediately goes to the steel mill. The um, the aluminum that comes out of this metal mine just sort of immediately goes into my stockpile. So you see now I'm producing 1.8 aluminum, and you see this is you know ticking up. So let me show you an example of what happens if you're not connected. So I see some high water here. Water is something that you're definitely going to need. So I'm going to go up to the water, go to um, water pump, um, and uh, click on the high water. Um, all right, great. I see some. Um, all right, here the, the game audio is still a little loud. All right, let me turn it down to one. <laughs> I have it down all the way to, to one bar, um, but uh, I don't know. There's not much else I can do about it right now. Um, and. Um, uh, and I see that so we have some of our uh, beta testers in the chat room, so they're able to some answer some of the questions I can't. So that, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so I, I built a water pump, and so you see what's happening here is you can see that you know it's producing you know also 2.4 uh, water per second, and you can see that it sort of slowly fills up, and once it gets to the maximum capacity of 20, a blimp, a blimp pops out, and um, and then flies to my headquarters. So you see, here's my water. And you watch the blimp here. It's going to go from 270 to 290, or 291. I guess I add a little extra, but um, it's basically every time the blimp flies in, it's going to you know drop off another you know 20 units of, of water. So now I've got my water taken care of. Um, what else do I need to worry about? So one thing to to definitely keep in mind is you want to look at this left column here. This is your, these are your resource rates. So I'm producing 0.6 steel, that's coming from my steel mill. I'm producing 1.4 iron from my metal mine. Um, and note, I'm producing actually 2.4 from the metal mine, but one of it's going into the steel mill. Um, producing aluminum, but uh oh, I'm consuming fuel. My blimps are consuming, consuming fuel. My, my headquarters is consuming oxygen. It's also consuming food. And my, pow and my um, buildings are all consuming power. So first off, let's take care of the life support. So uh, how do I get food? Well, a uh, hydroponic farm consumes water to produce food. Okay, so I got plenty of water, so that's great. So I'm gonna go over here, click on farm. Uh, maybe I'll use this empty tile here that I'm not using for anything else that I already claimed. So I'm gonna build on that tile. Um, my farm is going up. Um, while I'm at it, I think maybe I'll build another another tile of, uh, sorry, I'll build another a farm uh, to make sure I, I have enough. Um, so I'm gonna go here, try to build a farm. Uh oh, so I don't have enough glass. So in a lot of the games, what that means, it would mean is, okay, you have to go build a glass furnace. 
Now, Offworld is built entirely around this free market on the left here, that you can buy or sell resources, resources anytime. So I need 20 glass to build my farm, but instead of uh, making, you know, committing myself to building a glass furnace, I can just go down here, click the plus button, and I just bought uh, 10 units of glass. So now I go up here, and now my farm is available to me. So I'll click on that, and you know I can place it. You know I can place it anywhere actually. Like the game will actually, if I put it here, the game will actually figure out automatically that it'll ship water from my headquarters to the farm and then ship food back to the colony. But of course I want to put it in a place that's the most you know most optimal. So you know I want I want it. You know the game is sort of highlighting these tiles to tell me you know hey it's probably a pretty good, pretty good idea to put it next to your your headquarters. Um, so, however, you notice if I if I go here, I get a plus 50% bonus, and what that is from is by putting it's you know something that kind of actually descends from from Mule, a very old game, um, which is that you know get buildings right next to each other, you get a um, you know sort of an efficiency bonus. Um, so I'm going to put my second farm there, and you see right now my farm right now is producing uh, 0.6, but as soon as the other farm is done, you should see that jump up to uh, you know 0.9. Um, so I'm going to just bump up the speed for a second, so we'll get there real fast. All right, so you see now they're both producing producing 0 0.9. So it's almost like I get a third farm for free if I get two farms right next to each other. So it's a very powerful effect. Um, okay, what else is in the red? All right, so um, I am, and actually now is a good time for me to tell you about debt. So right now you see I uh, my debt is going up. Um, the reason it's going up is um, I don't have... Uh, a source of power. You see, every second I'm losing $88 to power. Now that doesn't come from my my money. Here is my cash. I got $9,200 in cash. Uh, early on, when we made the game. We actually did have it coming out of your money. But then you had this issue of like you sold resources and you had some money, but then the money was disappearing and you weren't able to use it fast enough. So instead, we came up the system of debt. So that if you are forced to buy something from the market, like food, oxygen, water, or energy, instead your debt goes up. And your debt can go up as high as you like, but uh, if you look over at your stock price, um, it'll, this sort of explains where your stock comes from. And if you see that down uh, at, you know, down near the middle of this help text, you see it says debt, you know, minus 15,000 times two. What that means is your debt is is multiplied by a certain factor. It depends upon what difficulty level you're playing at. Um, that affects your stock price adversely. So if your debt gets really out of control, your stock price can drop all the way down to, you know, basically like a dollar and someone's going to definitely buy you out very, very quickly. Um, all right. So, um, so I got, I need to get some, um, I need to get some, uh, some power up. So, uh, all right. Uh, I think I'll go for, um, I'll go for a solar panel. Um, so I need silicon. I don't have enough silicon. So I'll go buy some silicon. Great. Okay, now I can build a power. And so now you see the, the the train is shaded according to how much I will produce. The higher the train is, the, the better the solar panel will produce. So I'll get 1.2 here. I'll get 1.32 here. If I keep going all the way over here, ooh, there's one tile way off here in the corner, 1.56. Where is this 1.44? I'm not going to put it here, though, because I want to put it in a place where I know that eventually I'll be able to build a second solar panel next to it so I can get that 50% adjacency bonus. So, so now you see my solar panel is, is flying out. Eventually, of course, we're gonna have something that doesn't look like a flying building, but um, uh, it's, it's flying out to the tile and it'll start building and then I will solve my, my power problems. In the meantime, let me pay off some of my debt so I don't, you know, my stock price doesn't get hit too bad. Uh, I'm also gonna sell water. Right now, if you notice, actually water is more expensive than food. So that's kind of unusual. Water should be cheaper than food because think of it this way, you can, you can turn, uh, two units of water into one unit of food. So you don't want to be wasting, if your water is this, exp this expensive, you don't want to waste, you, you'd be better off just selling your water directly and buying food. Um, so I'm going to sell some, some water to kind of get the, the, uh, the market back in equilibrium. Okay, so I also need some oxygen. Um, so I need a electrolysis electrolysis reactor. Now this is a neat building. The, it's the only building in the game that actually produces two resources. Um, and it's based off the basic idea that you can split water, of course, into hydrogen and oxygen. So, uh, you know, it splits, you know, splits water into uh, a little bit of oxygen and a little more fuel. Um, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it on an empty tile, put it here. Um, and so now I'm going to be 
then I, now I should be self-sufficient at this point. Um, so now um, the one thing I need to upgrade is glass. So I could buy it from the market, but I'll show you guys what you need to do to to build it. So I'll go to get a glass for go to the glass. I'll go get the glass furnace. I'll put it you know here. Um, I know I've got three claims, so I've got plenty of claims. So maybe I'll build two of them, so it'll it'll build quicker because it looks like I got plenty of aluminum. I got plenty of steel. I should be able to upgrade very quickly. Um, so I've got my glass furnaces go, uh, building, and how's my power doing? Uh, looks like my power is done, so it looks like I'm producing positive power. So now you see I'm making uh, $200, uh, $199 a second on power. That's going to go down as I drive the price of power down, although it looks like it's still going up. So it looks like the market is still... Um, let me show you one other thing. There's, there's this thing here. This is the colony. This is a sort of an NPC. Uh, every time, every... Um, as the game goes, the colony grows uh, depending upon the prices. Like if the price of aluminum and steel is too high, the colony is not going to expand. If the prices of food and oxygen and water are too high, the colony is not the population of the colony is not going to grow. Uh, but as it grows, it consumes more and more resources. So in each one of these little, uh, you know, you see those little apples show up and appear, little water, little signs of power. These are every time you see one of these appear, uh, it's basically buying one of these items from the market. So this is another source of of uh, uh, you know, uh, demand on the market. Oh, so my power has dropped down. So I'm, I'm actually losing money to power. Why is that? Oh, well, look, it's dark out. It's nighttime. See my solar panel here? Uh, it's not producing anything because it's nighttime. So instead, I'm, uh, you know, just consuming power. So maybe what I should do is build one of the other sources of power. The wind turbine works throughout the day. So uh, to make that, I need carbon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some carbon build some wind power. So this is showing me where is a good place to build uh, wind power. So you see these, this is a, this is a high, a, a strong highlight. So it's, it's a good spot. So I'll put it right there. Um, and so now I'm going to have that power taken care of. Uh, looks like I've dipped down negative in water. So that's because I've got, you know, I'm producing 2.4 for my water pump, but I now have three different buildings, the farm, two farms, and electrolysis reactor, each consuming one. So I need a little more water. So I'm going to, actually this map has um, ice on it. Not all maps have ice. Some do have ice. The, the maps near the north of Mars will have water ice in the north of them. Uh, maps in the southern parts of Mars will have dry ice in the southern parts of them. So we're obviously up here in the north. Um, so if you have dry ice, you can actually build a dry ice condenser that will create um, it'll basically split carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen. In this case, we're in the north, so this is this is water ice. So I'm going to build a uh, solar condenser. I need some glass for that, so I'll buy some glass. I'm going to build. Maybe I'll build a couple of them. I'll build two uh, ice condensers uh, next to each other. So these are basically melting the ice. Uh, the nice thing about ice condensers is they don't consume power. So if you're in a map where you're worried about power, build some ice condensers. Um, Okay, so doing pretty good. Um, so what do I need to upgrade? I still need glass. Well, I built glass furnaces. Ah, so if, you, if I mouse in here, you see it tells me I need silicon. Okay, so um, what should I do here? So I could either buy glass directly from the market, or if I mouse over this here, you see it basically it'll convert one unit of silicon into 0.9 units of glass. So I basically a one for one conversion. So if I look over here, silicon selling for $29. So I can buy silicon directly from the market and that building will, building will turn into glass, which is worth $84. So I'll just do that. I'll just buy silicon directly. So now you see these buildings are working. You see the little glass icons are popping up. So now my, you know, my, my glass is starting to stockpile and I need to get to 20 to upgrade. Great, I'm already at 20. There we go. Um, so let's see here. Uh, now what do I need to do? Um, so it's nighttime. Again, again the, the condensers, they don't work at night. That's, that's one of the trade-offs involved with them. Uh, we're up night, but you see I'm still positive on power because I got that wind turbine that's working at night. I'm not making a lot of money, but I'm also not losing it. All right, so it looks like I got enough resources I can upgrade again. Um, to some extent, I'm a little bit on uh, autopilot right now because um, I've got enough uh, 
uh, I, I, I'm producing aluminum, I'm producing steel, I'm producing all the stuff I need. Actually, I'm not even producing one steel a second, so maybe I'll build another steel mill. So again, you want to make sure you put it next to the other one, and maybe I'll build a third one. So if, you, if you're next to two of them, you see you get 100% bonus, and that just keeps going, 100, 150%, 200%, 250%. If you get a building that's surrounded on all six sides by other buildings, it'll actually get a 300% bonus. That sounds great, but it's almost actually a bit of a curse because if you're producing that much of one resource, you're just going to have way more than you know what to do with. And you're going to get to a point in the game where you've got like 2,000 of it sitting around and um, maybe the price is high, but if you even sell a couple of hundred, you'll drive the price down to a to dollar. And so uh, it's great to get those bonuses, but you can kind of go overboard. So you, you know one of the one of the tensions in this game is sort of balancing the the diverse the need for diversity versus the, the you know the benefit of you know getting that adjacency bonus. Um, all right, so oh, so I'm back to here. I need need silicon uh, for my my glass. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually just go ahead and build some silicon. So I go over to silicon. Uh, silicon requires quarries, not metal mines. The what are called elemental quarries. And if you know, if I go up to the carbon, it also requires a quarry. So if you can find a tile on the map that actually has both um, silicon and carbon, you can actually get both of those resources. I don't see any. So instead, I'm just going to, you know, I'll grab them here because they're next to the colony. Um, and I can build two. Uh, if you hold down shift, you can uh, build two buildings quickly at once. Um, so I'll get the adjacency bonus. I'll get plenty of silicon. Okay. So... All right, so now my silicon is working. Now my, my, my glass furnaces are working. So I've got my colony humming along. Oh, looks like as your colony grows, every time you, you upgrade, you have more people at your uh, at your headquarters. So that means you're gonna be consuming more oxygen, consuming more water, consuming more food. So now I've suddenly dipped into the negative uh, for all of those things. Um, for water, I'm not really in the negative. It's basically because it's nighttime, so I'm not, you know these these things are not producing anything. Once once they come back online, I'll be positive. I am, however, negative on oxygen. Why is that? Oh, it's because uh, not only does my colony, not only does my headquarters consume oxygen, but so does my glass furnace. So I probably need to build another one of those. Let me put it uh, put them adjacent to each other so I get the bonus. Um, okay, now I can upgrade. Oh, so that's it. That's my last upgrade. So uh, now I have. Uh, I finished. Um, so that's that's how you win the first uh, tutorial, um, and I am going to. Uh, this is the uh, this is the end game screen. You can click on this to see the map. Scroll around if you want to check out anything that happened. There's the stat screen. So this will show things like your stock price. These are the prices of the different resources. Um, this tells you how much you made from each of the different resources. There's just a bunch of info screens here. Um, so now I'm going to exit and we'll jump. To